Ah, uh, the C student. Welcome to North Carolina. Oh, it's bright. Uh, Corolla. Doesn't say on there, but it's Corolla, North, Carolina, North Carolina, Outer Banks. We're here on a little vacation. We've been here for uh, a few days now, and uh, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the place. So right here, this is the pool area. We spent a lot of time out here. Um, the water's ridiculously warm. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's probably in the 80s, so it's very nice. out that way. See all the dunes out there. Occasionally you'll see some wild horses which is pretty oh actually you know what let's see some wild horses right now. Right over there. I don't know if you can see them. Just off there. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll try to zoom in but uh, just off there you can see a couple wild horses and they just kind of roam. It's, it's pretty crazy but uh, anyway back to the pool area over here. Again, water super, super warm. Um, kind of small little pool, but it's, it gets the job done. <clears throat> and then this is like a little kiddie pool area. This is a, a nice gas fireplace. Um, spent a lot of nice chilling by that. And then of course here is a hot tub. So, and uh, it looks like it was serviced today. So. Good to go. Of course, there's spa rules. Gotta read those thoroughly. But overall, we do spend quite a lot of time down here and uh, just kind of hang out and chill. So there you go. So now just coming from the pool area here, this is kind of like the little front area here, like a little deck walkway around, kind of neat. Uh, one of the things we found later, well, we'll get to that in a second, but so back here, come over here this is all the pool equipment that's the propane for the gas fireplace but in here is an outdoor toilet an outdoor shower so when you come home from the beach you can uh, get desandied if that's a word and then you can jump in the pool the one really cool thing that we, we found later was this here this right here in a hook and it's called tiki toss so you hold this you just kind of stand back and you aim for the hook I'm gonna get this ready oh come on oh that was a close one let me tell you you can end up spending hours doing this oh that was so close Oh, that was way off. We're gonna do this till we get it. No editing. Gonna put a little bit more on that one. Man, not doing good right now. I'm rusty. Ah, right there. Here we go. Nope. All right, this one is the one for sure. Ah. Nope. Man, I'm horrible. No, I think it's because I'm holding the camera. Yeah, that's what that's that's what it is. I'm holding. Oh, there we go. See, <laughs> got it. Anyway, so we come around here, and uh, again, look at this view. Whoa, pretty awesome view. Just stepped off this little curb here. Um, but horses over there. And uh, oh, hey, Abe. this is the front. Come up the stairs here. And we head right inside. And so we'll head downstairs first. So coming down the stairs, we have this pool table, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and we'll head over here into the movie theater. Oh, they have Mo One playing. So we'll come back to that when we don't have a movie playing, so you can actually see it without it being so dark. But it's pretty cool, we have a movie theater. And uh, that's all on the first floor. And so down here we have a little mini kitchen. Oh yeah. With a full fridge, a little sink, a little wine cooler, and pool sticks. But who needs pool sticks when you just throw the balls around? 
Heading off to the room on the left here, you have a, it's like a double bunk bed setup, so four beds total. And then coming over in here is a connected bath with a full tub, toilet, and a sink. The swing clothes do not come with the rental. And then coming off into the right here is uh, where me and Jenny are staying. Uh, got a TV, nice fan. It's not too bad. We do not have a connected bath. The bathroom is here. So, but it worked out. This little downstairs area for our whole family. And that's what we're doing. And then finally, the room in the back here. All on the first floor again. This is where the girls are sleeping. So Delaney and Bryn. But this is a triple bunk. Oh yeah, so that, that quad bunk area is where Cash and Abe are sleeping. Uh, but they have a connected bath in here as well. Good sized bathtub, toilet, sink. There's me. Hello. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, they have doors going outside. This has got like a little privacy thing so you can't look in. Um, but it's kind of neat overall that they can walk out to doors locked. The back. So this is the back here. Looking out, we have quite often horses just grazing in the back here, which is pretty cool. Um, but this is the back here. And you can come back in here into the pool table room. Hi, Kate. So starting back here at the front door, we just went downstairs and let's go upstairs. Up here is just a uh, dual washer and dryer. Very smart. But you have a bedroom, you have a bedroom, a bedroom, and a bedroom. Not going to go in there because those are other people's rooms, but uh, you kind of get the idea. We all have uh, individual bathrooms. You kind of kind of get the idea. And a little sitting area. Again, the C student. Pretty cool name. Also, this is the second day. I started filming yesterday. This day. I decided to wear the same shirt so that it looked like it was all one day. But the reality is, it's not. So from here, another set of stairs. So I don't think I showed this uh, earlier when I showed the downstairs. So this is, well, as you can see, this was my last day of filming, uh, which was, I don't know, I, it took me like four days, I think, to film this. but. Uh, one cool thing I forgot to show you guys um, And we're gonna go check it out right now. So coming out of uh, The downstairs where I said we were staying with the pool table and oh, yeah We'll go hit that movie theater. You know, let's do that right now. Let's go Check out the movie theater because I don't think anyone's in there and I can turn the lights on Oops And so here Is the movie theater back out a little bit you can get a get a full you know what? I'll go up here and look down you can get a sense because it's it's like stepped it's like tiered down there's three tiers you know one two three all looking at the screen it is pretty cool uh, the kids have spent a little bit of time in here not a lot but uh, got to watch some movies and uh, do cool things so you start dark and now you've seen it light let's get back outside and I'll show you that section that I haven't showed you yet. We are back outside again, take two. I'll show you that other section that you have not yet seen. Let's go check it out. So where we came in here, there is a set of stairs onto the second deck tier. So you can access this tier from the back or each of the rooms on the second floor that, well, we didn't really show you because people are staying in them. Uh, but they all have access through their bedrooms out to this little deck tier. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty private. Uh, this over here is like its own little private deck. That's the 
I think that's the owner's quarters actually. The owner uh, gave me know and uh, they let us use that room for the babies. The, ba the, baby's room. the baby has their own balcony. Nobody else. It's kind of weird, but it works. It's, it's cool. But again, kind of see the view. You don't really get to see the ocean because the sand dunes are so high. But uh, it's covered. So when it's super sunny and hot, kind of sit under here. They have these uh, little Adirondack lounge chairs, which are currently covered with bathing suits as they dry, which is what you would typically do, I guess. And uh, I think they put this, and I actually don't know why there's a chair in front of the stairs, but there is. So that is the super neat secret back staircase to the second deck that at first we thought you could only access if you were staying up there. But it turns out there's a back staircase. So uh, from here, I believe we're going to head up. We're going to continue on to the third deck and uh, see the kitchen and the dining space. So let's head on there right now. So now leaving the second floor, now heading up to the top floor. We we'll use this table a barrier because we have a baby here and we have another baby gate here going up to a little breakfast nook we'll take you up there first so right up here a little seating area and look at that view oh, beautiful anyway moving on random bottle of water so heading back down Gates falling here. Okay. All right. So here we are on the top floor. Yes, it is another day, and I'm not wearing this same shirt because it started to smell. Because I was wearing it over and over, trying to film this house tour segment. So, anyway, as you can see here, this is where the living space is. But we'll show you around a little bit first and uh, we'll start with the bedrooms all right so here is the master again it's uh, being used by our friends and uh, I'm not gonna go in there because I don't know what they have in there could be some weird weird stuff uh, here is their other bedroom uh, where one of their children are living <laughs> living sleeping and then here is like a little little bathroom and there hi how's it going um, it's a little tiny bathroom but it gets the job done it works now leaving the bathroom heading down here got a couple couple pantry closets where we stored our food and then heading into the main living area of course you have a nice Big TV with like the whitewashed wood wall behind it. Obviously beachy. Looking out at that amazing view. Kind of spinning around here is the dining room here. And then of course the kitchen, which is full of, well, full of stuff because there's nine kids and six adults living in this place. Uh, so there's a lot of people in here so there's a lot of a lot of stuff kicking around but overall pretty good sized space gonna head out onto the back deck here I'm going to insert a clip that I did earlier where there's some horses uh, right now back little picnic table area and oh wild horses one two, three, four, and then there's five or on the wood line. And I'm eating a hamburger. Enjoying the view with horses. And here it is without the horses. Uh, it looks like it's the first day that we've seen clouds. It's been blue skies all week and uh, some rain is starting to head in. I think actually it's gonna miss us though. 
So I think we'll be in good shape. So let's head back inside. And then from here, we are going to head out onto the front deck. And so here is the front deck looking out at the ocean. It kind of goes over here. This is one of the bedrooms. Obviously it has our own little uh, patio door. Uh, there I am again. Uh, but I spent a lot of mornings out here having coffee and uh, just looking out. There's also a lot of fighter planes because we're not too far from Virginia Beach and uh, there's an Air Force base up there and there's a lot of fighters out in this area. And uh, oh, wait a second, you can see them way out there. There they are. Nope, those are birds. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Those are birds. Anyway, last night when we were, uh, we were actually sitting out in the pool area, you can look down at the pool area here. There's the kids playing in the sand. Some kids in the pool area. And Chris over here. My buddy Chris is sleeping. Oh, and there's Justin. Uh, that's the second deck. So anyway, pretty awesome view. Um, yeah, it's been a good week. It's been a good week. And so from here, I'm going to end it with a nice view in the back. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have interest in staying here, we sort of know the people that own it. And uh, we can get in contact. It's pretty awesome. I don't know what it is uh, per week. It's probably like five or six grand. But it's been a blast. I hear a kid crying, so I'm going to have to go tend to that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Back here. Whenever I do another video, which could be, who knows. But I did this one, and that's all that matters. See you guys soon.